Morning. I just got out of school about maybe 15 minutes ago for summer, so I'm really excited. And when I'm really excited, I tend to go crazy, so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to my May wrap up and my June TV to be read, not TV read. I don't know. But I read 13 books this month and I have a heck of a long TBR for next month. So I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. I will show you the book that I have that I've read for my wrap up and I only get 20 seconds to talk about it because I don't want this video to be 30 bajillion years long. So let's hope that this does not go up in flames, but if it does, it will be a funny video. So let's get started. The first book is Ink by Amanda Sun. I got this book from NetGalley. I was really excited to read it. I was expecting huge, elaborate descriptions of Chinese mytho mythological things, but I felt like it lacked. The main character, Katie, was extremely annoying. I felt really... Oh my gosh. This is going to be harder than I thought, so if you want a review of any of these books, like, in more detail, I will, like, leave it down in the comments and I will try and do it for you. And I will also leave my written reviews of these books, because I did mostly written reviews for all of them, and I will leave them down in the comments, because this is not... The next book I read was Rise by Anna Carey. This is the third book in the Eve trilogy. I just really wanted to know how everything went. It was a little bit slow, but it was really, really good, and it wrapped up things really well. I gave it a four out of five stars, I believe, and it was great. What? The next book I read was Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I read this book with Beatrice over at Books Overlooks. She's really awesome. I will leave her link in the doobly-doo. I wasn't as impressed with Cinder as everyone else has been hyping it up to be, but I really did enjoy it. I had a hard time connecting with Cinder. I have a review, and I will leave it on front of the picture, so I don't really need to talk about it that long. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Ha <laughs> ha. Then I read the first volume of Avatar The Last Airbender. I don't know the author and I'm not gonna look for it because it's 20 seconds I felt like watching the show and they took them all off Netflix so I decided to get the books and it was really cute it was really short it took me 15 minutes to read it and it was really good read it if you like the show yes uh -huh. then I read partials by Dan Wells I read this with my friend for our book club it was really good I liked it I have a few unanswered questions but I will be reading the second one. I don't know if I will this summer, but I will be reading it because it was good and I gave it a four out of five stars and it was good. I think you guys should read it if you like. <sighs> the next book I read was Angus Thongs and the Full Frontal Stogging by Louise Renison. I love this movie rendition of this book. It was so good. I love the book as well. It was cute. I love Georgia as a person because I just do and I really 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 loved her voice in the writing because it was so funny and if you haven't read these books do I give it a four out of five stars and it was really cute and Georgia-y. Then I read Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler and Carolyn Macklin. I had mixed feelings about this book. I had a friend who really liked it and a friend who really hated it. And I understand why my friend hated it because the writing style is really, really weird. But I didn't like the book story that much at all, but I did like reading the experience. So I liked, I didn't like the story, but I enjoyed the experience. Then I read the first volume in the Pandora Hearts manga. I did not like this at all. I gave it a one star. It scared the crap out of me. Like, I don't even want to be holding it right now because I'm afraid I'll have bad dreams. That's how bad it was. It was scary. My first manga ever. Really not a good experience. I'm going to put this down. I don't care if the timer has wrong or not because it scared the crap out of me. Like, no, no, no. Thank you. Then I read the first book in the Princess Diaries series by Meg Cabot. These movies were so good when I was little and they still are really good and I love this. I feel like the Princess Diaries is the American version of Angus Thongs and the Perfect Snogging, but I don't know. I felt like that. They both talked about like certain bands and certain TV shows in the same time. They were published I think within like two or three years of each other and it was really good. I gave it a four out of five stars. Then I read Orion Host Club by that person there and this one was slightly better but I still didn't like it very much. I gave it a two out of five stars. I really had a hard time reading this one because of the format of most manga. I don't know if it's just me or not but I did have a hard time with this and I just, I don't know, manga is probably not for me. 
The last manga that I read this month was Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromoshu Akawaka. Yeah, but this manga I liked. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I really liked how it was a different type of um, storyline and it was good. I actually think that I will continue with this story, but probably not soon because I just have a problem with manga. Then I read The Fault, no not The Fault in Our Stars, Looking for Alaska by John Green and this was really good. I cried, I laughed, I was really good. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but it was really good. I gave it a four out of five stars and I liked it. Oh yes. Oh yes, it's John Green. How can you not like it? I don't know. Yay, I have two seconds. The final book I sneaked in last night was On the Bright Side, I Am Now the Girlfriend of the Sex God by Louise Renison. It's the second book in the Georgia Nicholson series. It was good. I give it a four out of five stars. It was about the place where the movie ends, so I'm really excited to see what happens after the movie because that doesn't happen. And it was really cute. If you want to read the series, do because it is really, 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 really cute and I just love it. <sighs> so now I'm going to go on to the TBR part of my uh, thing. I'm just kind of tired. Sorry. Whew. And I have a lot, a lot of books because I'm planning on reading a lot, a lot of books for the month of June. So for this one, I'm not going to be timed. I will show the book, say the name, and I have one to two sentences of what I am or am not excited about for it. So here we go. The Midnight Twins by Jacqueline Mitchard. It's the first book in the Midnight Twins series. I have started this one already. Meh, it's okay. Mouse by Art Fieldman. I'm excited. The first two books in the Harry Potter series. Yes, Jean, I finally have them. The first one, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So excited to see if I like it as much as everyone will says I will. The first two books in the Percy Jackson series, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, which I am in the middle of right now. Meh. It's okay so far. And Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. With my library book club, I will be reading Codename Variety by Elizabeth Ween. I will be continuing the Princess Diaries series with pr the second book, Princess in the Spotlight by Meg, Meg Cabot. I will be finishing Little Women. <laughs> I'm so close, I'm so close. I'll be reading City of Bones, the first book in the City of Bones series. Everyone been telling me to read this, so I might as well. That Summer by Sarah Dessen, my very first Sarah Dessen ever. Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. I picked this out of Robert and he, that's what he gave me, so I'm gonna read it. And finally, the first two books in the Twilight Saga. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer and New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. I just wanna see if I still like them as much as I did when I was little. Okay, so I have books up the wazoo right now. I will show you. Look at all them books over here. All them books over here. All of them books over here. Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully it comes together nicely. Hopefully. And I will see you later with brilliant videos that will come from my head at some point during the summer because I have couple of discussion videos that I'm going to have and I have fun stuff in store for you guys maybe a bookshelf tour maybe a giveaway I don't know you'll just have to keep on watching and oh I forgot to tell you guys I reached 400 subscribers and a while back and I thank you all so much for that I don't have the funds to do anything right now but look out for 500 so I will see you guys later and have a fantastic day